What's happening today? From personal experience, I have some uh, information that could help you bear, better your life, bury your life under the ground. But I'm feeling pretty low energy. And that's because the food, the quality of food that you put in your body will directly impact the energy that you get out of that food. If you're eating food that's high in vitamins, that, that was grown by the sun, that's organic, that is... You're eating to live. That's giving you energy. You are giving your body what you need to fuel itself to function optimally. But now if you're giving your body processed things, like if you are eating stuff from bags, wrappers, boxes, cartons, that's processed. That's processed food. Like you can have organic food in bags. It is what it is. I don't like bags. As much as, you know, you, they kind of force you to buy them. Going off topic. But the if you were eating something like I ate this, like this cookie, this nutritional plant, plant-based, like this complete cookie thing or whatever. And it was like 400 calories. And I was like, oh, it's mint chocolate. I like that. It tastes pretty good, you know. It, and when I had it, it didn't taste as good as I remembered it. Because I hadn't had it in a while. And it just, it felt like it had negative energy in it. Like when I ate it, it made me feel drained. Like I went to go work out and I was going to go run to warm up. And then I was going to do my body weight workouts. And it literally felt like it drained all of my energy. I didn't even do the body weight workout. Normal, that's not normal for me. I would, I would push myself. I have so much energy during the day. But when I ate that, and it, there was nothing else that I had changed during the day that would make me feel like that. So take a look at your, take a look at what you're eating. What's in your pantry? What's in your fridge? If you're eating a lot of, if you have, if you are, if you are eating a lot of stuff in wrappers and boxes and stuff, and you have been for a long time, you're not going to notice the difference in how you feel when you eat something. Like if you eat, you know, a processed, you know, whatever, what anything, just whatever. Like you look at it, you know, milk is processed. They pack, they do whatever to it, homogenize, whatever, package it up. It's processed. Like a damn near everything is processed. Like Oreos are processed. Cheetos are processed. Chips are processed. I mean, you can make your own potato chips at home. You cut it really thin. It's more work, but dude, it's, I mean, it's homemade. Homemade is always better. You can make it with love. The food that you get in wrappers is made by a machine. A machine cannot love the food. It just make, it's just programmed to do the thing. And chop up the food and do whatever and package it and it's ready to go. That's impersonal. There's no relationship from you. You know, let's say you grew the potato. You cut it. You took your sweet time and you cut it really thinly. You went, you had like the rigid slicer and you just went, and you cut it down all the way. You laid it out on a pan. You put oil, you put salt, pepper, whatever, whatever you want to put on there. And you bake it for however long. I don't know how to make chips. And I think that's how you do it. I mean, you could deep, you could deep fry it too. I don't know, man, there's, that's a healthier option. But that is, like, there was a relationship. You grew that potato, cut it, seasoned it, and baked it. And now you get to enjoy it because you made it. But it's like you get to go, you get to, go to the store with the money that you earned from your job just over broke. And then, <laughs> this is a completely different topic, but... Then you spend that money in, on a bag of chips, which is made with, dude, the like the chemicals that they use in these things. Like you look at the ingredients, and there's always like xanthan gum and like cyanobalmethin or some crazy crap in those chips. And like, I mean, it's just one thing. Like every like cereals, Cap'n Crunch, like anything that you can imagine. You go into the store and look at and find. 
is processed. There is it's, it's full of garbage. It will make you feel like garbage. And if that, that's the only thing you have eaten for the past several years, you know, you've been surviving off processed stuff. You don't know what tr truly feeling alive feels like. I promise you. There is a massive difference between you don't have to be a vegetarian. You don't have to be a vegan. You can eat you know, organic grass-fed meat. You can eat organic, you know, everything. If you ate veggies, fruits, veggies, you know, whole grains, it doesn't mean don't eat grains. People are like, carbs are bad. No, I mean, processed, refined carbs and sugar is, is devastating for your body. Whole grains like oatmeal or like, well, I, I make steel cut oats. Those are great for you. Those are have soluble fiber that like take off the plaque in your arteries and stuff like that. All these minimally, you know, like steel cutouts and like oatmeal, you know, minimally processed things, like foods are a lot better for you than like those instant oatmeal packets. Don't get those, dude. Don't get those. <laughs> you can buy. You can get oatmeal if this is something you like. Buy oatmeal because I know you're not. And it's it's real hard to to uh, grow your own oats and then chop them up, press them, cook them up, and then I mean, what you could do is get your oat oatmeal. Man, I'm, my brain is scattered. You can tell. You can take like blueberries. Put them in some water, put a little bit of sugar in, just a, like like a little bit of what is it? Sugar in the raw, the stuff like the un crazy the the unrefined the unrefined stuff, the stuff that's not as not as bad as white sugar. You boil that down, and you can mash the blueberries, and then you have like a blueberry syrup you can pour with your oatmeal. You can do so many things. You just gotta get creative, and you gotta stop being so lazy. With like, oh, I can go to the store and get this blueberry syrup and it's like, it has no texture because it's super processed and there's like 3% blueberries in it. Like, you're not getting any of the vitamins, you're not getting any of the antioxidants. Dude, it just tastes like blueberries and even, it's like enhanced to taste like fake, extra, like extra blueberries. Like, oh, it's, it's great. Oh, it's, you're poisoning yourself. Your life's going to be a lot shorter if you continue to eat terrible like that. So I'm just trying to put this message out that maybe can help you. And dude, if you don't care, girl, if you don't care about what you eat, it's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to relay some information out into the internet. And maybe it'll find the right people. Maybe it won't. But either way, I did my part and I put my message out there. And with that being said, I hope you all have a great night. Take it easy, stay healthy, and stay safe. Peace out.